Okay, so we're now looking at what's a walking lunge, and we've done lunges before, so our static lunge would be simply up and down the spot. We've got our forward backward lunges, which have been so forward, backwards, and all backward lunge, we're just going backwards. Walking lunges are pretty much the same. All we're doing is rather than staying in one space, we're actually moving along either forward or backwards continuously. With a forward lunge, you want to be careful not to sort of have too much momentum going forward. Our key thing still is our knee stays behind our toes. So a step that's a bit wider than normal, allowing you to go straight down with a nice 90 degree of the knees, front and back, coming up, and next step a little bit wider than normal, and back down, and so on. That's your walking lunges. One step is a count of one. Backward lunges, obviously fairly straightforward. Same thing, but walking backwards. The key thing is though, is we're not going on a tightrope. So my feet aren't going to be parallel or so right behind you, they're going to be a little bit apart. Okay, really important that we do that for balance. So starting from here, hands might be forward, on the hips, I don't mind. I like mine on my knees, you guys know that. From there, pushing off, I might touch the middle, come back down. So once again, a set that's a bit wider than normal or longer than normal, coming up from there and so on. You'll notice when I push back with my backward walking lunges, the last thing that comes off the ground on that front foot is actually my heel. I'm pushing off my heel. I'm not pushing off my toe because that's going to put extra stress on my knees. So back down, I use my hands, I push off and come in from there in that sense. So that's our walking lunges either forwards or backwards.